So here you can see some data that I got by just letting this thing oscillate up and down for many minutes. And so you can actually see uh, that the as the amplitude changes uh, in simple harmonic motion, you can verify that the period doesn't change, and it's very easy to do this. So let me just show you the analysis. Uh, you can just basically zoom in on the plot up here. So you're looking at now the, uh, let me zoom in a little more even. Okay, and we can measure the period of this oscillation. We select the chart. We drag this thing from there to there. And we see that the period is about 0 0.85, 0 0.84, 0 0.85 seconds, something like that. Okay. Um, we double click here and we get back to where we were. And we can do the same thing by zooming in a little piece out here. And again, we can do the analysis where the amplitude is smaller. And we can verify that we get the same period, about 0.85. And uh, even more than that, let me go back. This is a good excuse to show you the Fourier, fast Fourier transform feature that we have. So FFT, if we want to take uh, 4,000 points, and you, the 4,000 points are now selected by the gray region you're seeing moving there. So suppose I put those right there. Just by moving the cursor over the plot down here, I can see what uh, where this peak is in the frequency, and it is 0 0.1, uh, 1.187 hertz, according to this plot. And if you take the inverse of that, you get, no surprise, uh, 0.85 seconds. So you can measure the frequency, you can measure the period, you can show that it doesn't change. It's The frequency is the same there as it is out here, as it has to be for simple harmonic motion. And uh, so that now shows you how to do FFTs as well.